the 1950s, the world was in the grip of the Cold War, and the skies were the new frontier of this ideological battle. The U.S. Air Force, recognizing the evolving threat from the Soviet Union, initiated a program to develop an advanced interceptor. The mission? To counter the ever-growing capabilities of Soviet bombers. Convair's F-102 Delta Dagger was already in service, but it had its limitations. The Air Force wanted something faster, more agile, and with advanced electronics. Originally conceived as an improved version of the F-102, and designated the F-102B, the design underwent significant changes. The wings were redesigned, the fuselage was streamlined, and the engine was upgraded. The F-106 was a culmination of cutting-edge design principles of its time. At the heart of the F-106's design was its distinctive delta wing. This wing design, characterized by its triangular shape, was optimized for high-speed, high-altitude flight. But speed and power weren't the only things that set the Delta Dart apart. The MA-1 integrated fire control system was a game-changer. This advanced system could automatically detect, track, and even compute an intercept course for enemy aircraft. The F-106 stood as a sentinel against potential airborne threats during the heart of the Cold War. From the 1960s to the 1980s, the F-106 served with the Air Defense Command, which was later renamed the Aerospace Defense Command. The Soviet Union's long-range bombers, capable of carrying nuclear weapons, were a constant concern for the U.S. defense establishment. The Delta Dart was America's first line of defense. Throughout its service life, the F-106 participated in numerous exercises and real-world interceptions. Although it never saw combat, its presence was a deterrent to potential adversaries. Hey there! I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching and supporting this channel. You're amazing. I'd like to introduce you to Super Thanks. Your Super Thanks donation not only helps me create more awesome content, but also gets highlighted in the comments section. Just click on the Thanks button below this video and leave a small tip in your local currency. Let's grow together and thank you for being a super supporter. Now back to the video. The F-106 also showcased its capabilities in the William Tell Weapons Meet a competition held at Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida. It was here that the Delta Dart demonstrated its superiority by winning the competition multiple times. During the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1962, the F-106 played a crucial role in the U.S. response. Squadrons of Delta Darts were placed on high alert, ready to respond at a moment's notice. As newer interceptors were developed, the F-106 was gradually phased out of active service. Some were converted into QF-106 target drones, while others were transferred to the Air National Guard. In the Air National Guard, the F-106 continued to serve until the late 1980s, when it was finally retired from service. It's worth noting that the F-106 was exclusively used by the United States and was not exported to or operated by any other countries. While the F-106 Delta Dart is often recognized as a singular icon of Cold War aviation, it's essential to understand its variants, each tailored for specific roles and requirements. The F-106A was the primary production model. As a single-seat interceptor, it was the backbone of America's aerial defense during its operational years. Equipped with the advanced MA-1 fire control system, it was designed for one mission, to detect, intercept, and if necessary, destroy enemy aircraft. Its sleek design, powerful engine, and advanced avionics made it a formidable force in the skies. On the other hand, the F-106B was a two-seat version. While it might seem like a simple addition of an extra seat, the F-106B was more than just a training variant. The F-106B's canopy was extended to accommodate the second seat, giving it a distinct appearance. While primarily used for training, the F-106B retained most of the combat capabilities of the F-106A. This meant that it could serve as both a trainer and an interceptor, providing flexibility to the Air Force. Instructors and trainees could fly together, allowing for real-time feedback and hands-on experience right in the aircraft they'd be operating. This dual role made the F-106B an invaluable asset for both training new pilots and bolstering the defense capabilities of the U.S. Both the F-106A and F-106B played crucial roles in America's aerial defense strategy, each bringing its unique strengths to the table. The roar of the F-106's engines may have faded from active runways, but its legacy is far from forgotten. The Delta Dart set benchmarks in interceptor technology, many of which influenced subsequent generations of aircraft. Its advanced systems, its speed, and its role during the Cold War era 
serve as a testament to American engineering and innovation. Today, the F-106 finds its home in museums, air shows, and the memories of those who worked with it. It stands as a bridge between eras, reminding us of a time when the world was on edge and the skies were a primary battleground. The Convair F-106 Delta Dart may no longer patrol our skies, but its legacy as a guardian, an innovator, and an icon of the Cold War will forever remain.